What's going on guys, and it's like Novak here with another episode of Ostrov, the village city builder that we've been showcasing the last few days. This is going to be episode 3 now, and um, there's a lot to do. There's still a lot, a lot to do. We want to expand our housing. Um, however, that's going to have to kind of wait until we take care of our little food situation here. Uh, last episode, we built this granary, uh, which I think is this one? Yeah, it is. Okay, excellent. So we've got the 1.6 fish in there, we've got 15.8 potatoes, and we have a little bit of flour too. Um, what do we have over here? The smithy, we have plenty of nails. We don't have any workers right now because, again, um, we have plenty of nails. We don't want to waste workers on that. We've got our two workers over here in the forestry, so that's cool. Um, the farms here are very, very important to us. Um, now, we're still looking good on nutrients here. We're definitely looking good on nutrients over here. And we want to kind of uh, babysit this. You know what? And somebody pointed out, too, we could actually do, if, if we hired a manager over here, then we could actually kind of micromanage these a little bit more, which I always thought, you know what? I love this. This is a really awesome feature. So what we're going to do over here, I think we're going to do hemp the season after that, and then we'll follow it the season after that. Over here, we can get away with wheat, and then, let's see, we could do, we could definitely get away with, with wheat, and then I'm thinking we might be able to get away with potatoes, and then we'll have to follow that again. Then over here, and hopefully you guys are understanding kind of what I'm doing, right? So like the hemp here is going to use up very little orange resource, no green, and some uh, some blue. So the next year, we want to kind of take care of something that doesn't necessarily take up those resources, right? Um, so the hemp, that's the first one, right? Yeah, that's the hemp. So we're going to be kind of running low on pretty much everything. Um, after this upcoming hemp season. So I think we're going to go ahead, we're going to follow the year after that, and then after that, maybe let's do potatoes again. I think we'll be able to get away with that. So we're pretty good. We're, we're scheduled here for the next three years worth of growing season. So that's excellent. And all, that's all because we have the manager there. If we didn't have the manager, we wouldn't be able to kind of schedule that. So that's excellent. Now, we can't get a manager here. Can't get a manager here. I'm just trying to take care, um, trying to see which buildings we can actually assign a manager to. I think the only one that we could really do um, that I'm pretty positive of is the trade market. Now, one thing that I really want to focus on is we're going to want to get a cow shed up. Um, I want to do some trading so that we can get some actual cows, we can get some milk production, and we can go ahead and get some like bulls and stuff in here so we can actually plow these fields and that's going to allow us to get a lot more uh, of these resources if we manage to plow the fields so let's go ahead let's find out where are we going to put our cow shed um i don't see why we couldn't you know what we should probably build this over here by the farm um yeah because the cow sheds are going to need pastures so I'm thinking we'll definitely want to build that closer over here to the farm. Which this over here is just a regular house. Yeah. So let's do... I don't know. Maybe... Can we fit that over here somewhere? Which way is the correct way? This looks like it's going to be the back of the building. Okay. So let's kind of adjust this over here somewhere. We want to make this look nice and pretty. I think that's pretty decent right there actually. If we did something like that, I think this is going to work out quite nicely. We'll uh, we'll actually let these guys build it, and then once they do build it, then we're going to kind of figure out where we're going to put our pasture. Um, but we definitely need that. And then if we're going to have that, we're going to have to put down a lot of those, um, the hay dryers. Right here, we're going to have to have a lot, because the cows and the bulls and all that, they're going to need to eat some hay. Uh, so we definitely want to have a lot of that in stock. Um, so the hay dryers are right here in the um, the productions tab, and then in the trade and transport we have the hay barracks, which is then gonna you know st we're gonna be able to store the dry hay in there. And again, that is gonna feed our livestock, which is something I want to get um, as soon as possible, pretty much. But I think we we might have to give it as much of a, as a year. Uh, to get some hay in stock and kind of in supply because I think the last time in that little first look that we did video the first look videos that we did I think we got cows we got something like six cows two bulls and, and I think they all pretty much died within the first year because we didn't have the hay saved up 
So lesson learned there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna address that. Uh, we also wanna get some trading in too, because we are kinda running low on iron. We do have five over here, we still have the 2.78 here, and we're fine on nails for now though, but I could see us running out of that. Uh, and plus we can't get the cows until we actually get the trade depot in too. So the trade depot is gonna be super important. Once this gets done built, uh, being built over here, we're gonna kinda worry about the trade depot next. Uh, the trade depot in the hay is going to be our like top priorities. Now it is February of 1723. How are we looking? Uh, water supply is fine. Enough food for sale. There's no housing available. We should probably get some more housing in here. Uh, that way we could have some more workers actually work in these farms, work in the cow shed, all that good stuff. Yeah, I think that's something we want to do. Um, why don't we maybe build, should we build some more houses over here? Or should we kind of continue doing stuff over here? I'm thinking, why don't we kind of start a little bit of a village over here? Maybe we can do some houses right here. Do something like this. I think that'll look decent. Uh, maybe rotate them just a little bit though. Let's see, kind of want to get the best possible angle over here. Uh, that looks decent. We could do, let's do something like this. We'll put a house there. We will put another house right next to it, like that. Beautiful. And then let's do one more, just one more. Uh, yes, right there. Good, good, good. Um, is this done? No, this is not done. Should be done here soon, though. It's about halfway done. Okay, good. We've got some fishing coming in here, too. Excellent. Now, we should have the three fishermen assigned over here, right? Yeah, we do have two coming in, and then we, uh, we did designate a third one. We do want a third one coming in here grabbing some fish, because I think we're running kind of low. If we go to the granary, we have 1.7, which is going to last us a little while, but nothing, nothing spectacular. We still have the 1.4 fish over here. We've got the 1.2 fish over there. And it does say that we're fine on food. Enough food for sale. The only thing that we're kind of lacking is the, um, the housing, which is something that we're trying to address over here. But again, we can't really address that until this is done. And this is definitely like a little bit of a ditch over here. I'm surprised they let us build these houses right there. But you know, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Let's just hope there's no flood, because if there is a flood... <laughs> that's gonna be like a prime area to just have like a natural river going through kind of wiping out these houses over here so hopefully there's no floods in this game I don't see why there would be come on guys build this cow shed for me cow shed will be right there we'll probably put some sort of pasture if we're not able to put it over here in this little ditch in that little valley We'll just put that over here. That'll be like a perfect spot for it. Just like a natural spot to have it. Nice to see our farmers actually sowing the fields over here. This one's done and growing. This one is almost done being sowed. And then this one over here is actually done as well. Excellent. Now this is going to be our hemp, uh, which is our largest field, right? That's going to be our hemp. Over here we are doing wheat. And over here we're doing potatoes. And then we're kind of rotating it. So next year we're going to have hemp, potatoes, fallow. And then the year after that, we're going to have potatoes, uh, fallow, and fallow over there too. So I think we're going to be set pretty well for the next uh, two, three years. I think. Pretty sure. Now, you know what? Why don't we kind of beautify this area too? Plus, a little birdie told me that a lot of the, uh, the workers, they're kind of going from place to place because they need to rest. So I'm thinking... Maybe we should give them a bench so they can kind of sit down, relax a little bit. Maybe if we did a bench like over here along this little road that we've got going on here. We could do like a bench over here. Uh, we could do, come on, let me place multiple benches. We could do another little like bench over here. Like so. Then maybe we can do some more along uh, along the pathways over here. This could be like a decent little spot for a bench, just right here along the fence. Mm, I think so. Let's do it right there. You know, we can give them another one. We can give them another one so that multiple, you know, 
more than like two or three people could sit together and just have a little chat. Just have a little chat right there. Ooh. Pine trees? Do these trees grow? That would be pretty sweet. If these trees actually kind of grew over time. Birch tree. Uh, ash tree. Hmm. I think I kind of want... I like these cottonwood trees. Those birch trees are not bad either. But you know what? I kind of like these, uh, these cottonwood trees over here. Uh, I wonder, can we kind of maybe do something like... Oh, come on. Can we do... How do I... Is it maybe shift? If I hold shift, will it let me build more? Excellent. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be sweet. This is going to look perfect. Oh, yeah. This is going to look nice. All right, we want to make this look nice and pretty over here. Just kind of like a natural little triangle we've got going on over here, right? Yeah. Um, bam, 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 bam. Oh yeah, that's that's beautiful right there. That you can't tell me that doesn't look beautiful. Oh yeah, hopefully the people are gonna walk through that too much because I'd like that for to kind of like grow back in there it Looks like people are definitely walking through it <laughs> We could make that you know what hold on we could make that like a nice little park as a matter of fact now We could do something um, We could do the benches like along over here, but you know I think it would actually look better like if we just kind of turn that into like a natural little park so if we did something like that I wonder, can we squeeze in three? Ah, oh, it's gonna be kind of in a weird spot. You know what, let's give it a, no, you know what, that's not, I don't like it. I don't like it. Demolish that one, get rid of it, and let's put the tree back there. Yeah, it looks better. So you know what, let's, um, let's actually demolish that bench right there too. Nice, nice idea. Didn't work out though. Yeah, that looks good. Let's do a few more benches along the uh, the little tree line over here. Um, we'll do one here. We could do one over here. And then, you know what, let's just put one more. And we will do something like that. And I think that's fine. That's like a nice little park area right there. Just a nice cozy place to relax. Maybe, it, you know, if we could, it'd be nice if we could just copy this campfire. Oh, no, that, that wouldn't make sense. We don't want the campfire around the trees. That's like a fire hazard right there. Our, how are we looking on the houses? So our cow shed is in place. That's excellent. Uh, we don't want to put any workers in there right now, though, um, because uh, obviously we don't have any cows. Now, cow shed, let's see here. I'm thinking we're going to try to match this up over here. So let's do something like this. Aw, oh, come on, really? Okay, we'll go a little bit further out. And we'll... No, really still? Come on, man. There we go. Max output, 16. You know what? We'll go a little bit wider. And that is going to be max output, 23. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll do that. And then we're going to make this, um, we're going to assign that to the cow shed, which it already should be. Uh, we don't want to assign it to the other. We're going to leave that like that, and that's going to be strictly for the animals. Now, with that being said, let's get some of this hay uh, production in place. Now, we can't do anything here in the valley for some reason. That's kind of odd. Um, hmm. Why not? You can't even do anything over here. That's really interesting. Why the heck not? Is that maybe... You know, I, I think we can, actually. Hold on. Let's figure this out over here. We'll do that right there. Okay, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. We'll do that right there there 
This is gonna be our little like grass cutting zone. And I think maybe one more, just like right. Oh, uneven terrain. Okay, okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Can we maybe uh, uneven terrain? Uneven terrain. Mm, that's unfortunate. Should we just maybe try to go with just the five? Are five gonna be okay? Let's see, if we did a hay barrack over here, um, we could, we could put a hay barrack over here, which I'm thinking, what if we did something like this? We'll put a hay barrack there. I should really hold down shift when I'm doing this. A uh, hay barrack there. We'll do a hay barrack here and then we'll do another one next to it so that'll be uh, all of our like hay collection right there and then we're gonna let that happen for about a year uh, and then next year we'll actually look into maybe trading for some cows because uh, let's see that's gonna be four four so that's 12 uh, 40 12 16 20 okay so 20 I'm not quite sure how many of these can hold um, I'm thinking we probably are gonna need more hay than that we're building some houses over here too um, hay dryer. I just feel like we need more. Why don't we do? We'll do another one over here. We'll do another one over here, and then can we maybe squeeze one in? No, that's all uneven. But you know what? That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Hopefully that'll be enough. We'll figure it out. If not, we'll adapt and overcome. It's not going to be a huge, huge issue. Now, we've only got the point three fish over there. That should mean we have 5.4 fish over here. Okay, not bad. We've got the one fish over there. One fish over there, too. Hmm. I'm thinking, why don't we add another potato spot over here, and then we'll add in another... You know what? We'll do another potato spot over there, because I think potato is, like, our most available uh, resource. Yeah, potatoes at 13.1, and flour is at 7.3. So now I'm thinking no families should really be like starving or anything like that. Um, our villages, our, our village houses are being constructed over here. That's going to give us some more people that can do some uh, important jobs around our village, right? Slackville. If you guys didn't know last episode, we named this lovely, lovely, quaint little town Slackville. People over here, hard working on wood, excellent. We've got the clay pit in case we need to build anything else, which there's still plenty of clay available right there. Now let's see, you know what, I wanna kinda of find out. Where, oh where, camp center, who's our mayor? Um, looks like Do Dobrinia, Dobrinia is the mayor. Uh, Dobrinia lives right over here, he's 30 and he's married to Malada who is actually unemployed and they have 63 wealth. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna venture a guess that these guys are the most uh, wealthy uh, family in the neighborhood. Now let's double check, 64, 67. So these guys are right there. But that's because the mother's actually working too. These guys have 53, 44, 52, 22, 65, 61. Okay, so that you know what I mean they're they're up there. They're definitely in the top three I would have thought that they'd be a little bit wealthier seeing as how the mayor uh, Lives there So interesting that the uh, the mayor is not like the wealthiest guy in the village That is quite quite interesting now. We do need to build the uh, the market That's something that we're gonna have to absolutely do uh, Town hall is probably something we're gonna need as well but I think the market is just a little bit more important. Now, market stall trading post, not the market. We need the trading post. Um, uneven terrain over there, that makes sense. Let's see if we maybe rotate this guy a little bit more. And I, you know what, I kind of, I really like this. How we kind of have like a natural path coming right there. Like what if we were able to build this on that natural path? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do that. Uh, too much uneven terrain. That's unfortunate because if we just rotate it a little bit, I think we'll probably be able to get it. Or or not. Or not. 
See, if we did it like that, we'd be able to get it. Oh, that kind of sucks. You know what? We're just probably going to have to put this over here somewhere. Uneven, uneven, uneven. Really? What if we rotate? Oh, see, if we did something like this. Like right there, it's even. And you know what? I'm not sure. I don't really think it's all that close. I think for like logistical reasons, it might be best. It might be best if we put it over here. That's our pasture. That's our farms. Oh man, this is tough decisions. Tough decisions. You know what? This might just be the best place for it in the long run. In the short term, in the long run. Just something like right there. Let's go ahead and do it. We'll just put it right there. They'll eventually get to building that. You know what? We're going to go ahead. We're going to pause that. We want to start working on these houses. Um, I'm thinking the houses are taking quite some time. Let's go ahead. Let's actually uh, let's get rid of these workers over here. And those guys will then hopefully help us build the, uh, the two houses over there. Uh, that is like a, a pretty big priority for us right now. And then I'm also thinking, you know, a lot of these people are working the fields, which I would love to be able to kind of be like, no, I don't want you guys to work this many people. Labor limit. Here we go. Let's do just uh, let's do five, la uh, five labors. That's all we really want right there. Um, I want the rest of you guys to come down here and really focus on these houses. Come on, guys. Ah, uh, you know what, though? It is going to be important to pick all this up. All right, let's give them some more labors. Let's give them, like, ten. Uh, where are all of our workers? We do need somebody over here in the granary, because he goes and he picks up all the food from all over town. So he's kind of like our food supplier for the entire village. So we don't want to get rid of that. Uh, we did get rid of these forestry people, though. Uh, we do still have the three fishermen, which you know what? Let's 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 knock down two of them, and now hopefully these guys will kind of prioritize coming over here and working on these freaking houses, because uh, I do want to get those done uh, ASAP. It is September. It is going to be time for it's going to be winter time here before we know it. The fields definitely need to get collected as well. We have all this hemp over here just kind of like laying around, not doing much. Come on, pick those up. Knocking this out too. It's almost all collected over there. All those potatoes, that's going to be important. How much do we have over here? We have 23 potatoes stored and we've got 5.6 wheat. Now, there's plenty of wheat still out there, so that's going to go up. That's going to go up big time. And then also hemp, we've got the two right now. There's still plenty to pick up there as well. So I think we're going to be set for the winter time. We're going to be set for at least a few years with all this food. Um, but that's stuff that we're going to need for trading purposes, right? We want to get those uh, those potatoes and that wheat and that hemp. We want to get that traded. And then once we do get some more uh, people in here, we're going to be able to... Oh, look. Is this somebody moving in over here? Hold on. Time out. Wagon. Are you moving into the house over here? I think they are. Is this a new family, the village? Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Anton and Natalia, welcome to Slackville. Nice to have you over here. That's excellent. And that's just a few more workers that can actually do some work around here. So I'm hoping Natalia is going to come over here and actually do a little bit of farming work. And then maybe the, uh, the husband, Anton, can come over here and help with building hopefully that would be awesome um, hopefully that's a thing he does hopefully he's not lazy and he actually gets off his butt and he kinda helps us with the uh, the labor and stuff oh look at that hold on timeout worker Anton look at that beautiful Anton is jumping right into the swing of things and he's helping us build one of these houses that is excellent that is absolutely Excellent. Love to see that. Love to see that. Oh, uh, yeah. We definitely need to get some more houses in here then. We need some more manpower. That's what we need. 
If we want Slackville to thrive, we're going to have to get some more manpower in here. And it looks like, I mean, you know what, for the most part, they are avoiding this um, little park area that we built. But they were doing that even before we built that. And when I say avoiding it, I don't mean that they're, like, not wanting to go sit on our lovely benches and all that stuff. I mean, they're just kind of, like, walking around it, kind of creating these natural paths. And look at that, are like, the leaves falling. That's awesome. You got the trees over here in the people's yards. You've got the trees over here that look much better than they did when we actually planted them. That is really, really cool. Really like to see that. How are we looking on wood? Uh, well, we don't know because that's a smithy. Uh, wood, 157, and there's still plenty of firewood. Now, they are bringing some of that wood over here to construct these houses. And you know what? Let's double check too. Hemp, we've got 25.8 hemp. We've got 17.6 wheat, and it is growing. 18.6 and now we're at 19.5 and I think that's pretty much that for the rest of the season uh, because as you can see here all of these fields are done they're done being collected so that's what we've got over here so that is pretty dang solid I like it I like it they're using these benches over here that's cool I like it that bench might be able to get moved a little bit not looking bad though our village is definitely taking shape absolutely stunning looks really really beautiful and we do have like our little commerce section over here or our little industrial section and you know what we've got a little bit of industrial over here as well though <coughs> just need to get some cows in here soon now how are we looking on the hay we've got 10 hay over here two hay here but you know what that's getting we are getting more stored there that's excellent Oh, good, good, good. We're going to need a lot of hay, guys, so uh, so we can feed our future cows and ox and uh, bulls and all that good stuff there. Oh, and you know what? Look, they're, they're growing? I didn't know that that's a thing you could do, like actually make them taller. Wow, holy smokes. That's really cool. Hay 10, hay 10. So this one's probably going to get stocked up uh, until it gets to 10. If we have that available, which it looks like we do... Now, we do have the trading post over here paused, uh, but that is because, and look at that, we have a new family moving in here. That is because we uh, we want to focus on building these houses over here. So, yeah, it looks like, indeed, we have the new family. That is Borislav and o Orisia. Orisia, they, they have a little bit of money. They've got 10, uh, 10 wealth. Uh, they are unemployed right now, which, let's see. Good. Borislav went straight to building the village house. He's a smart man. He wants to earn some money. So he's, uh, he's getting some work while he can. And as we can see now, he's back to being unemployed. And now he's doing some laboring. Okay, good. Excellent. So he's going to be helping out build this house. That is exactly, exactly what we want. Now they're getting the resources to the site. It is November time, so it is going to get pretty cold here soon. Um, right, the snowfall is coming. And we, we want to make sure these houses have firewood. Now, these guys have 0.34 firewood. These guys have 0.35. These guys are going to need some firewood ASAP, too. Once that house gets built, which look at that. We have plenty of workers, plenty of laborers, and here comes the snow. Now, once this house gets built, hopefully we have somebody move in relatively quick. But as they move in, we want them to have that firewood, too. We don't want anybody moving out because their little toes are freezing. We don't want anybody passing away on us because they uh, they froze to death or anything like that. So this is all stuff we're going to have to kind of babysit a little bit. And I'm thinking too, as soon as this house gets done, you know what, we should just work on that trading post because we do want to get some money in here. Uh, we also need to get the town hall because we want to raise the... Um, First of all, we want to raise the rent for living in the village, uh, which is pretty much essentially just taxing our people. And then we want to raise the uh, the resale of our merchandise. So when somebody buys a fish or some flour or some potatoes, we want to be making money on that as well. And in order to do that, we're going to have to get that town hall, which this is going to be the trading post. So I'm not quite sure where exactly we're going to put the town hall. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze it in here anywhere. We might be able to over here. Um, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll figure it out. We will definitely figure it out. 
Now this upcoming year, let me double check, we're gonna follow that field, we're gonna have potatoes growing there, and we're gonna have hemp growing over here. So wheat is gonna be sparse um, for next year. Wheat and flour are gonna be sparse. Uh, we do have 2.4, you know what, we can get rid of maybe one more worker over there. You know what, this house is actually built, so that's gonna be another worker. Uh, Yaroslav and Yutsina. Yushkina, Yushkina, and they have two kids. Wow, this is the first family I've actually noticed that has two kids. Especially like right on, uh, right when they move in. So that's pretty cool. Three more houses. We now have 46 people living in our village. 14 men, 14 women, and then however many kids that is. I think that's like 16 kids. Uh, no housing available, no jobs available. You know what, let's change that. Let's get uh, two workers in here. Uh, we're going to want to have the two more workers over here on the fishing dock. Uh, we don't need another boatyard worker. Although, maybe we should build another fishing dock. Um, because fish are a pretty good resource, right? That's like our only uh, only source of like some sort of meat. So I'm thinking we probably want to get that. Or, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's actually do... Uh, we'll unpause the trading post and we'll hopefully get that constructed here. Uh, in the near future. Uh, with that being said, let's actually just fire these guys right right back, and then that's going to allow them to kind of work on this trading post. Uh, we're going to need plenty of laborers to gather all the resources over here. How are we looking on nails? Um, we have no nails, so let's go ahead and do a worker over there. He can start producing some nails for us. Um, we're still looking good on wood. We have 203, which I'm not quite sure exactly how much we're going to need for this trading post. Uh, but you know what? We do have the two workers there, so they're going to be producing wood for us. The uh, smithy is over here. He's going to be knocking out some of the nails. Uh, because that's something that we're probably going to need to finish building this. I don't think the 56 nails is going to be enough for that. And then, you know what? As this gets built... Um, that's going to then allow us to do plenty of trading with some of these other villages around here. We can see we have Derhachi, Balaklia, and Merefa. Merefa? I think that's right. Uh, we have those guys available to kind of do some trading with. But, you know what, for now, we're going to have to save that for the next episode, guys. This is going to be the end of uh, the episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. I definitely am. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to continue to like micromanage everything and just kind of expand everything. Uh, so anyways, if you guys like the video, do me a favor. Hit the like button. It would mean a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're getting really close to 20,000 subs. I think we're about 1,600 off uh, as of this recording. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.